Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Prophet Yaqub alayhi sallam and the Prophet Yusuf alayhi sallam. Long, long ago in Jerusalem lived a pious old man, meaning devoted to religion and dutiful to Allah. His name was Yaqub alayhi sallam. He was the grandson of the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi sallam and the son of Ishaq alayhi sallam. The Prophet Ibrahim's son. Yaqub was himself also a prophet and also the leader of his tribe. The prophet Yaqub had 12 sons. Yusuf was the prophet, Yaqub's 11th son and the second child of his first wife. His youngest son was Bin Yamin, the prophet Yusuf's own brother. The prophet Yusuf's 10 older half-brothers had another mother. As a child, Yusuf spent his time in and around the family, playing with his little brother Bin Yamin, running with the baby lambs and gazing out over the vast desert islands, meaning sandy desert and very little rainfall. The Prophet Yusuf had a keen intelligence and a kinder nature. His father loved him dearly. He kept Yusuf close to him and had long talks with him even when Yusuf was still quite young. From the beginning, Yaqub was very much impressed by Yusuf. He saw a great and promising future for him, the dream of Yusuf alayhi sallam. One day, Yusuf alayhi sallam had an unusual dream. In the dream, 11 stars and the sun and the moon all bowed down to him. When he woke up, he told his father about this strange dream. The Prophet Yaqub alayhi sallam understood right away that his young and best loved son would become great one day. This had been made plain in the dream. Sensing that his half-brothers might become jealous of him and trying to harm him, Yaqub warned Yusuf not to tell them about it. My little son, do not tell your brothers about your dream. They may hatch a plot against you, for Satan is the open enemy of man. Yaqub cautioned his son, meaning warned against him, advice against him. The Lord has chosen you, Yusuf, for a higher purpose. He will teach you to interpret dreams and will perfect his blessings upon you. He told Yusuf that Allah would bless him and their family in just the way he had blessed his grandfather, Ishaq, and his great-grandfather, Ibrahim Jealous Brothers the ten half-brothers were aware of their father's great love for Yusuf Alayhi They would often grumble, meaning complaining, muttering in a low growling sound, saying, surely our father is clearly wrong. They were so jealous of Yusuf that they would band together and plot against him, but they did not dare tease him or hurt him openly. The Prophet Yaqub was always nearby and would be very angry. The young Yusuf was innocent and did not suspect his brother's hatred. The ten brothers not only hated their innocent younger half-brothers, Yusuf and Bin Yamin, but they were also disrespectful to their father. Surely Yusuf and his brother are dearer to our father than ourselves, although we are a band. Truly, our father is clearly mistaken they would say to each other. Yaqub was nothing of the sort. Like his father Ishaq and grandfather Ibrahim, Yaqub was a wise and noble man, a prophet who had been commanded by Allah to pass on the knowledge of one God to the tribe and to the family. The Dry Well and the Prophet Yusuf one day, the ten elder brothers of the Prophet Yusuf asked their father to let Yusuf come out with them and play while they will graze the sheep. The Prophet Yaqub did not like this idea, but he let the Prophet Yusuf go with his elder brothers. When brothers were a little away from the village, they got hold of the Prophet Yusuf. Then they threw him into a dry well. The Prophet Yusuf landed at the bottom of the well. He looked up. He could see the sky far above his head. The well was very deep. 
Little Yusuf could not climb that high. He became really scared. He did not know what will happen to him, but Allah was with him. Allah revealed to him, You shall one day tell them of this deed of theirs, when they do not realise who you are. At nightfall the brothers got back home and told their father that Yusuf was devoured by a wolf, meaning he was quickly preyed on, hunted, and he was fiercely attacked by the wolf. But his father did not believe them. Instead, he said he would keep patience as Allah says it is the best to be patient at the time of despair and loss. The Prophet Yusuf salam, reaches Egypt. By chance, a caravan was passing by the well where little Yusuf salam, was lying. It was very hot. Both men and the camels were very thirsty. One man among them spotted the well. So one of them went to see and get some water from the well. He took a bucket and a rope and dropped it into the well. Then he pulled the bucket up and what did they see? There was a boy clinging to the bucket. They were very surprised. They planned to sell him in the market of Egypt. Some rich man will surely buy him, they thought. So in Egypt, they sold the Prophet Yusuf to a man called Aziz, who was a minister in the court of the king of Egypt. This is how the Prophet Yusuf reached Egypt and grew up there. Jazakallah khair for listening.